I want Team of the Year Mbappe, you want Team of the Year Mbappe, and how are we going to get it with unlimited packs? And I'm here to show you how to get those. So if you're new around here, just subscribe to say thank you, and of course, drop a like down below if you do get anything out of the video. And as usual, if you want some coins to help you with your journey towards your Team of the Year as well. If you guys are fed up of coming against sneaks like me and foot champs who use loans and OP cards from day one, I'm getting really sick of you! Get out now! Then you need to head over to MitchCactus.com where not only can you buy the cheapest and most reliable FIFA coins on the EA market, you'll find over 10,000 reviews from people who have used the services and enjoyed them in the past. So make sure to head over to MitchCactus.com and use code RECALL for 5% off. So first of all, let's look at what I've got in terms of packs already. I've got 150. Is that a lot? To be honest, no. Other YouTubers have got thousands. People did a pack glitch the other day, which is going to get them banned. But there's a lot of people with more packs than me. Now, what I'm doing at the minute, first of all, and this is quite important, a lot of these packs, anything that contains commons, will be opened pre my big opening at the end of the week. So I'm going to do all of my packs at once when all of the team of the years are in, car in packs. Until then, I'm not opening any of my important packs. But... Anything that gets things like marquee matchups, I'm going to complete that. That's going to go and get opened pretty much immediately because it's tradable. It's something that I can use to put coins towards more packs. And that's how you want to manage this. Essentially, with your packs, do not open your 83 times 5s, your 80s times 20s, whatever it is that you've got. 83 times 10. You want to keep them on lock until the very last minute. However, what you do want to be opening is anything tradable and anything that has commons in it because your commons, of course, can very, very easily go into a few places. So, First of all, you've got, of course, the Winter Wildcard upgrade. I've got a ton of them left to do, and I will certainly be completing every single one of them, especially now that Team of the Year is here. I've actually got the real boost to go out and get that done. And the reason being, because right now I can go and get myself an 84 times 20 or an 83 times 20 for the sake of doing a load of SBCs that are also going to get me more cards that are going to also give me potential of a Team of the Year. Now, realistically, the three times rare gold player pack that you get from completing this isn't going to have gems every time but there are 150 of these that you can do. Now, I've got 40 left. I'm going to complete every single one of those, and don't worry, I've got to put in the description how to craft them for free because I'm a lovely guy and I want you to be able to do the same. But essentially, if you have, let's say like me, 40 of these packs, the reality is in 40 of those, you're getting at least one, two, maybe three informs. I'd say the guarantee is two informs as a minimum. But I would say you're probably, if you've got a fair pack luck, looking at two to five informs in that. And in terms of high rated cards, I reckon you're going to get a few 86s, quite a good few 84s and 5s and you might even see an 88 and 87 cropping up there as well and of course we've got the team of the week that you could get you know higher end cards of now, all of these packs i'm saying is if you can't get a team of the year from them of course you can but it's not where you're most likely to get one where you're more likely to get one is of course your 83 times 10 and i'm going to show you how to craft them as well but first we need to look at crafting from the absolute base so if we have a look at what we've got to offer at the minute if we go all the way to the end and just have a look at what's been completed first 83 times 83 times 5 mid Builders. That's a brilliant SBC, but we wouldn't open it now, so it's not going to help us with our unlimited packs because we do need to be able to craft things, so we do need some things to be opened almost immediately. Gold upgrade, irrelevant. Silver upgrade, irrelevant. Bronze upgrade, irrelevant. However, when we get over to here, we have our daily silver upgrade. So that's essentially one player for 11 players. Always a steal. We're going to get that completed first of all, and please ignore the absolute voice break that I just had there. Second of all, we're going to have the bronze daily upgrade, of course. We're going to go complete that one as well because essentially we've just put two players in and got 22 players out. And both of these can be turned into tradable players. Now, how do we do that? So we take the players that we've got there, our 11 bronzes and our 11 silvers, and we pop them in the daily gold upgrade SBC. Now, you only put the commons in here. You don't put the rares in. But when we put our rares into these two SBCs, we get more rares out. Or sorry, we have commons in, we get rares out. And then we go over to the Icon SBC. We complete the first section, Born Legend and Rising Star. And now we have more tradable players. And of course, the result is a small silver players pack, which will go for about three or 4K minimum. Then we also have a free common gold players pack, which is obviously just gonna contribute to our winter wildcard crafting challenges. Now I know this sounds a little bit long-winded, but unlimited packs isn't gonna to come to you for free. We have thousands and thousands of pounds worth of promo packs in the store right now. I mean, if you were to add it up, if you just look at what the, the current promo packs that are literally just on the top end, if we go off the basis of just 12K FIFA points, which is about 90 pounds at the minute. So let's have a look here. So 12K FIFA points is just, so realistically, that pack there uh, is 3K. Then that pack there, we've got 5K, 6K. So that those three packs together are 45 pounds. So if you think about it, in the store, people are paying hundreds and hundreds of pounds, thousands of pounds just to get these packs. And I'm gonna get you unlimited packs for free. So I'm sorry it's gonna take time, 
but it's better than paying hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And I do not want to see how much I've spent on FIFA this year. I want to help you guys not do the same. So what we want to do, of course, is craft into the Winter Wildcard crafting upgrade. Now, of course, we're going to get rated players out of this. We're going to get some good ratings. And then we can choose where we go next. Now, of course, you're probably going to want to do the 85 three times defender pack. It is going to be worth it at some stage. It isn't worth it immediately because you don't need it now. Now, we've got one day and 22 hours. I'm probably going to do that in the last few hours of that because the things that are repeatable for a day, you want to get them done first. 83 times 10, definitely get that done first. 84 times 5, I personally am steering clear because all of the things, it, it's an 82 with a team of the week, but that is pretty much just a fodder dump. It's taking away your fodder team of the weeks, and I don't think it's worth its value. Now, the 81 plus double upgrade. This one, it, it, it's something you can look at in two ways. It is an okay SBC. It's not gonna be an absolute steal. If you've got an absolute ton of gold rares like I do myself, it might be something that you look at and think, actually, this is a good SBC to do. There's no way of doing it fast because you can't go out and fill auto the commons or the rares. And I think that's why they've done the SBC like this because it makes it a slower craft. You can't just go on the app and do it really quickly. How I've done it there is the quickest you could do it. I know that was quite quick, but you can go and do other SBCs quicker. So it's an SBC to put your dupes in. It's not an SBC to focus on. The main focus for getting unlimited packs is winter wildcard crafting, your league upgrades, which of course, as always in the description, I've got a guide on exactly how to complete them for free. And then we've got your 83 times 10. Now the 83 times 10 is essentially the SBC that you're gonna to wanna to care about the most. I've got two left to do. And of course I'm gonna be completing both of these every single day. Now I don't have that many team of the weeks actually left because I've done basically put all of them into this SBC. The amount of 83 times 10 I have, if I do not get a team of the year, which of course I'm probably not going to get at this rate, but if I don't get a team of the year, I'm going to be pretty damn upset. So hopefully I can get some more team of the weeks throughout the week because that's definitely going to help me with just trying to actually continue to do the crafting. But the only other thing that you can do if you don't get team of the weeks in your packs, of course, is go ahead and craft the 83 plus pick. Now I do think it's a difficult XBC to include in a crafting video because it takes a lot of what you're crafting out. You know, you, you immediately remove a lot of your hard work because it's an expensive SBC to do. So this one here, it's gonna cost us a little bit more than we'd like. We're gonna to have to pop in another 84 there, but basically it's best to have 83 team of the week. So that's another thing that makes it difficult. If you go and do the 83 plus team of the week SBC, you're likely gonna get an 84 or an 85 team of the week, which you'd probably rather put in an icon SBC, but you can't do that. You need your 83 times 10. Now, of course, like I said, I'm gonna be opening all of my packs that have common players in. So of course we've got to wade through and have a look what's got what because that's going to be important so jumbo we obviously we get rid of these so 24 items including players and consumables seven reds so that one it's not one we're going to hold off for team of the years because i don't have a guarantee of a rating or a player in there so with this one there you go loads of common players one one rare irrelevant so with these packs we can open these and it's going to give me fodder to contribute to what i've got left i know everyone's going to tell you to hold your packs and holding packs is is good in in, in the whole holding packs makes sense it is a sensible decision but the reality is guys a lot of us aren't going to pack a team of the year when opening a pack like this and if you do brilliant but in the meantime when you need crafting a lot of us are going to have to get 83 times 10s a lot of us are going to have to do the prem upgrades whatever it might be it's not going to be easy to just craft these packs so it's worth the, the packs where you're not getting a guaranteed rating, you're not getting a guaranteed certain type of player, it's worth opening those. Even though these are all players, and I may get a team of the year in a pack like this, which is brilliant. Obviously, the idea is to hold off until everything's in packs. You know, no one wants to just open a pack and get messy when, you know, the day after he's out of team of the year. You want to wait till they're all in, have the best chance. But I think the reality is they just ruin the pack luck when that happens and also by the way i know i'm quick selling a lot of this i'm a lazy youtuber for fifa you guys do not need to do this so do not quick sell your players you want to keep every single one obviously i'm just a lazy lazy boy but essentially follow my steps in terms of how you open the packs follow my steps in pack what packs you're opening and make sure guys if you do get a team of the year please don't rub it in my face because i'm gonna be crying until i absolutely get one now the other thing you want to do because otherwise you literally won't get a team of the year if you have a look ea put it in the terms of service you have to subscribe to me have to subscribe to me and that was a joke before someone takes it seriously. I'll see you guys later.